This is the very rare remains of an old saw pit at Kennox in North Ayrshire, not very far from Stewarton. Saw pits could be temporary structures, just dug a trench in the ground, deep enough for a man to stand in, maybe line it with wood, and it would be used throughout the tree felling season for cutting logs up into either pails or fence posts or planks. To have a wooden one was common. Sometimes you see these trenches many years after they'd ceased to be used filled in as structures, rectangular structures on the ground and they can be puzzling unless you know the woodland history of the site. To have a stone one was more unusual. This one's very substantially built, it still nestles within woodland and lies beside the glaze at water. The person whose job was to cut logs into planks was named, called a sawyer, as in Tom Sawyer. An extremely hard job. The person on the top had the task of making sure that the, the cut was straight, usually along a chalk mark line. The person at the bottom, of course, would get covered in, chalk, in the dust from the, the saws. Usually this, the dust had to be removed as it built up. However, oak dust could be used um, in smoking things like bacon. An extremely hard job. Uh, the saw that was used cut in both directions and the handle could be used, could be removed uh, so the saw could be detached from the log that was being cut. When the logs were being cut into planks, the kerf, the kerf is spelled K-E-R-F, is the name of the actual cut. And that could be widened to prevent friction um, by putting a wedge, of, usually made of stone, sometimes of metal, to make the movement of the saw more easily. And so as the saw moved up and down, it cut in both directions and had to be kept sharp. One person could cut a log, obviously that person would be on top, in which case the bottom side would be weighted. But it was an extremely hard job and it was replaced by water-powered sawmills and later oil engine powered and then finally a sort of modern day sawmill replaced them entirely. So these features often found near wooded areas are a great rarity in the landscape these days.